Here we'll be solving a construction problem of placing triangle A, B, C with these three bits of information. Number one, the altitude from C on base AB is given to be 30 mm. The angle at the vertex is given to be 50 degrees and the sum of these two sides from A to C to B is given to be 100 mm. Let's start by plotting a vertex C at some arbitrary position. Then draw a vertical line. This will be a line of symmetry when we are using only these two bits of information. Uh, with these two, we'll get infinitely many solutions. Let's plot the isosceles case by taking half of the length and half of the angle on the left and half the length and half the angle on the right. Uh, we can plot the base now. So this is a case of isosceles triangle, which has the same sum of sides and the same angle at the vertex. Of course, our uh, condition of altitude 30 mm will not be satisfied by this one. For that, A needs to be somewhere on this line, B needs to be somewhere on that line. So the loci of A and B are going to be like this. So we can perturb this point B, it can go as far up as up to C, okay, and it can come down by a distance of say 100 mm on this side. So A and B are going to be on these two segments 100 mm long. Uh, if we plot various positions of A and B, we are going to get a pattern like this, which hints at some curve. From analytical geometry, we know it is going to be a parabola and all these positions of base AB that we have drawn are tangents. So this is a envelope. Now let us try to incorporate the third bit of information, altitude 30 mm. Uh, so from C, altitude uh, dropped on AB is 30. So the distance of AB from C is 30. So if we draw a circle of 30 mm radius which was centered at C, our base is going to be tangential to that circle, maybe extended base or the base itself. So let's draw that. So I'll take a tangential constraint and start with a tangent to the circle. Okay. Then I can also draw a tangent to this parabola. So if we draw a tangent to both, a common tangent, that's going to be our base. So now we have essentially solved the problem. These two are the sides and this is going to be the base. Let's copy it here like this and let's finish the triangle by extending these two sides to intersection and trimming these two sides to their intersection. Let's verify our solution by measuring this distance from A to C to B and the total is 100 as required. The angle between these two sides is 50 as required and finally the altitude from C dropped on AB over here is 30 mm as required. The solution we just got obtains this base of the triangle as a common tangent to this parabola and a circle. Now drawing this parabola or placing a common tangent to a circle and that is very easy in microstation. But can we do it by hand? Let's see. For that, we will start with these two lines or line segments, which are nothing but the loci of A and B, which also happen to be a tangent to the desired parabola. So if we take this point of tangency, say T, and drop a perpendicular from it to the axis, then a segment joining this foot of the perpendicular to the vertex of the parabola, and a segment starting from the vertex and joining the point where point on the axis where the tangent meets uh, meets it uh, these two segments are known to be identical this is a property of parabola a corollary of this property is if we draw a tangent at the vertex it is going to bisect this tangent and therefore it is going to meet it at midpoint say m there is another property of parabola that will come handy to us here that if you have a tangent to the parabola and if you drop a perpendicular from the focus to that tangent, then the foot of that perpendicular has an interesting locus. So let's move this tangent and see what the locus is. You can see that locus is a straight line and it happens to be a tangent at the vertex. By the way, such a curve is called as a pedal curve and in this case the pedal curve is a tangent at the vertex. So naturally it is going to meet uh, this tangent here at the midpoint and it gives us a way of finding the focus of our parabola. All we need to do is draw a perpendicular to this tangent from its midpoint. 
wherever it meets the axis that is our focus now knowing the focus is a good thing because to some extent it offsets the need of having the parabola itself and we can deal with just straight lines and points uh, we can draw uh, perpendiculars uh, from the focus and uh, the center of the circle to the common tangent and both these angles are going to be the same because uh, they are perpendiculars to the same line and if we mark some distances say distance between center of the circle focus of the parabola is a this distance here between the focus and vertex is c and the radius if we call as b then we get uh, the relationship that a is made up of these two parts here all the three distances a b and c are known so cos theta is only unknown multiplying by cos square theta throughout will give you a quadratic in cos theta uh, one can solve it to get this theta once theta is had one can plot this line and this tangent which is the base so this is a mix uh, solution uh, kind of bit analytical and bit graphical one can do it fully graphically you know solve this quadratic graphically but uh, no point going to that extent uh, just for the sake of it